Let's talk Oculus Quest games with the ultimate list of upcoming Oculus Quest titles. Hey Questers, and welcome to another episode of BMF, the unofficial home for all things Oculus Quest. Keep up to date on Quest news, game reviews, and the latest developments by subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. The Quest has been out for just over three weeks now, and if you're anything like me, you're probably waiting on pins and needles to find out what games are coming to the Quest platform. First, it's time to stop poking yourself with sharp objects. Second, I have a list for you of all the confirmed upcoming games for the Quest. Check the description below for the list of games along with links to that section of the video. Let's do this. The first game on our list is Fuji by Funktronic Labs. The best way to describe Fuji is a magical gardening music game. As you travel through the magical landscape, you bring the dormant wilderness back to life using light, music, and water, while also collecting seeds for your own garden. Funktronic Labs was kind enough to send us an early copy of the game, so I've already started playing through it. And I have to say, it's very unique and beautiful in VR. Seeing the footage in a 2D screen doesn't do it justice. I love what Funktronic Labs has been able to do in this game so far, and it's a lot of fun. Fuji releases on January 27th for $14.99, and we will have a review up on our channel on day one. The next game on our list is Sirento VR by Mixed Realms. Sirento is a port from the PC VR version that was released last year. This is one game I'm really looking forward to coming to the Quest. If you've ever dreamed of being an action hero slash ninja from the Matrix, then you're going to want to pay attention. In Sirenta, you play as a cyber ninja and perform various missions in both single player mode and campaign mode. Hack, slash, and shoot your way through a multitude of enemies while you spin, jump, and wall run in its unique locomotion system. Then jump into multiplayer for even more fun as you take on other players to see who the top cyber ninja really is. This game is bloody, gruesome, and fast, and it's going to be a ton of fun with the freedom of the Oculus Quest. Sirento is slated to release sometime this month. Up next is not a new game, but a free DLC for I Expect You to Die called Seat of Power. There isn't really a lot known yet about this mission, except to say that it's a free to anyone who already owns the game, so it'll add even more value to an already fun game. The DLC is scheduled for release on July 16th. This next game is one I'm really looking forward to, Aspire 1 VR Operative by Digital Load. The devs are building this game as a Golden Eye meets Metal Gear Solid game, which, if that is the case, it's going to be insanely awesome. You play as an Aspire agent who operates the Aspire Model 1 from inside an Aspire Control Theater which matches the size of your Guardian Boundary on the Oculus Quest. This unique approach is actually something that DigitalOad created that they say will help greatly reduce VR motion sickness, so I'm really curious to test out that theory. The game looks like an amazing blend of stealth and action, and I can't wait to try it out later this year. Aspire 1 is slated for release in August. The next game on this list is something I think we really need for the Quest, a local multiplayer game like what the PS4 allows you to do. Akron Attack of the Squirrels by Resolution Games allows one person to play as an ancient tree trying to protect the seeds of life, while others in the room can play as the troublemaking squirrels on their phone as they try to steal as many nuts as they can. The concept looks like a lot of fun, and I think that having the ability to interact and play with friends is a real selling point. Being able to take the quest anywhere and play a game with your friends is the beauty of portable VR, and I think that Akron is really going to capitalize well on that. Akron doesn't have an official release date yet, but it is slated for some time this summer. Do you like fishing games? This one looks great. Real Fishing VR for the quest looks to be the perfect fishing experience is touted as being the most realistic and relaxing fishing game ever, and if the trailer is any indication, I would have to agree. With the ability to actually fish in real-world locations in photorealistic environments, I think that this game has a lot of potential. They haven't released the pricing yet, but it looks as if this game should be out in July. The next game on our list is another game, or should I say social experience, being ported from PC VR. Alt Space VR is one of the most popular VR social platforms in PC VR and is totally free. Jump into the game and meet new people, play games, attend live events, and so much more. Because of the huge catalog of content already in the Alt Space VR world, there'll be no lack of content to consume. If you want to check it out now, there is a 2D mode on PC, but there is nothing like experiencing it in VR. It's awesome to see so many social platforms coming to the Quest. Alt Space VR is said to be releasing in August. Next, we have the first RTS game finally for the Quest. Final Assault by Phaser Lock Interactive, which is another port from PC VR. Final Assault is a World War II fast-paced RTS game that is specifically designed for VR. As you stand over the battlefield, you control your army to win each round and advance your troops. The single player looks like a lot of fun, but I think where this is going to shine is the online multiplayer. If you're a fan of RTS games, or even just strategy games, this game looks like a must-have. Final Assault is said to be releasing this summer. All you Doctor Who fans out there, listen up. 
Doctor Who The Edge of Time by Maze Theory is coming out this September on the Oculus Quest. In The Edge of Time, you join the 13th Doctor, played by Jodie Whittaker, to save the universe. Pilot the TARDIS, use the sonic screwdriver, and have run-ins with the iconic villains from the show. This looks to be a grand time, and the story is written by show scriptwriters, so you should feel like you're right inside an episode of Doctor Who. Next up on the list is Vacation Simulator by Alchemy Labs. Even though it's already out on PC VR platforms, Alchemy is taking its time porting Vacation Simulator over to the Quest to ensure the best experience possible. If you've ever played Job Simulator on the Quest, if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Then this game will be right up your alley. This time, instead of working, you get to go on simulated vacations. Hike a trail, build a sandcastle, there's a ton of stuff you can do in Vacation Simulator, and I'm super excited to experience it on the Quest. Vacation Simulator is slated for the holiday season of this year. The next game is one I know a lot of people have been waiting for, The Climb by Crytek. In this game, you scale mountains in various real-world locations. Either scale the cliffs and enjoy the views, or compete to be the fastest on the leaderboards. This game is very well known on PC VR, and I'm excited to see how it translates over to the Quest. The Climb is said to be releasing sometime in 2019. Next up is Raccoon Lagoon by Hidden Path Entertainment. This looks like a cute and fun game, and it kind of reminds me of the Harvest Moon games in a way. In this game, you get to explore many different environments on the island where it takes place, with the goal of making it your home. Perform lots of activities from fishing to mining and even gardening. You can even visit other people's islands or invite them to visit yours to help out. It's an interesting looking game, and I'm always up for a lifestyle simulator, especially in VR. Raccoon Lagoon is slated for this year. Next up is Pistol Whip by Cloudhead Games. Pistol Whip is a unique game in that it combines running games, rhythm games, and first-person shooters. With a whole bunch of tracks to play through and the ability to run and gun like John Wick, this game looks to be a ton of fun and I can't wait to check it out. Pistol Whip is slated for this year as well. This next game is yet another unique game called The Curious Tale of the Stolen Pets by Fast Travel Games. In this game, you help your grandfather solve the mystery of the stolen pets while peering into miniature environments. The game touts light puzzling and a peaceful and immersive world of wonder. Even though I love a good FPS or a twisted horror experience, there's something so relaxing and awesome about jumping into a game like this and just having fun and experiencing a good wholesome story. I, for one, am very excited for The Curious Tale of the Stolen Pets, which will be out later this year. If you love zombie shooters, then you will love this game. It has finally been confirmed that Arizona Sunshine will be coming to the Oculus Quest later this year, along with a new DLC called The Damned. This is one of the de facto zombie survival shooters for PC VR and PSVR. If you've never played it, then it's high time you experience it. With the ability to freely explore a world in the midst of a zombie apocalypse, this game is more than just a shooter as you have to ration ammo and learn to survive. Trust me, it's a lot of fun. I'm excited to check it out on the Quest when it does finally release. Next up, we have another stealth action game with a unique twist. It all takes place from a kayak. Phantom Cover Ops by End Dreams, which comes out later this year, takes a totally different direction in the stealth shooter game. In this game, you pilot a kayak on a mission to prevent war in one night. The game looks fun and different, and I'm curious to see how it plays out in a kayak. Needless to say, at the very least, it'll be a unique experience. If you've been wanting a native battle royale game for the quest, then Population 1 may just be that game. Battle in giant worlds with the ability to climb, fly, and build whatever it takes to be the last one standing. This game not only has cross-play multiplayer, but it also has a series of single-player missions as well. With the current popularity of Battle Royale games, it's not a surprise we would get one on the quest. But this one looks like it has a lot of potential. Population 1 is scheduled to be released sometime this year. Ever wanted to experience the same day over and over and over again? Groundhog Day is coming to the Oculus Quest and that may just scratch that itch for you. Based in the same universe as the original Groundhog Day movie, in this game you take on the role of Phil Connors Jr., the son of the original character, played by Bill Murray in the film. Trapped in Punxsutawney, you have to live the same day over and over until you can make the perfect day and realize the true value of friends and family. It looks very entertaining. And I think this is an awesome way to continue with the film story without creating a sequel that no one really wants. Next up, if you love Racquetball and Breakout, I have the perfect game for you. Racket NX is being ported from PC VR to the Quest. In this hectic game, you play inside of a glass dome where you have to hit the light up targets with the ball. There's a lot more to it than that as the ball isn't just a normal ball, it's out for destruction. So you have to call it back with your racket's tractor beam to set up your next shot. Destroy all the targets before your energy runs out in each wave. This game has stellar reviews on PC VR, so it'll be fun to play when it comes out. There isn't much available yet on Solaris Offworld Combat, the next game by First Contact Entertainment the devs behind Firewall Zero Hour on PSVR. We know that it is an online multiplayer VR FPS, but beyond that, we don't really know what else to expect. 
There isn't a date yet for this game, but we will keep our eyes open for more info. Next up, we have Echo Arena, the hit zero gravity esports game from PC VR. In Echo Arena, you play on one of two teams as you try to score goals with the disc. In this action-oriented sport, you can punch, steal, and do pretty much whatever you need to to win the game. I'm so happy this is coming to the Quest, although we don't know an exact date as of yet. If you're into military simulator multiplayer shooters, then Onward is right up your alley. In this game, you get one life, no HUD and no crosshairs for a very realistic style military experience. This requires teams to work together and use their heads to succeed. No release date has been announced yet. Next up we have Pixel Rip 1989, an homage to the early age of gaming. This game is very unique and has you following Dot as you try to save her world from the evil Cyblin Lord. It's a fun blend of games and it's something I can't wait to test out on the quest. Pixel Rip 1995 was also announced, but there isn't any concrete information about that game yet. According to the devs of Pixel Rip, they're actively working on porting the game to the quest, but don't have a timeline yet. If you're a big bow and arrow buff, then this next game is for you. Quiver is the must-have VR archery experience. In this archery wave shooter, you can join in with friends to stop the never-ending barrage of enemies coming your way. Customize your armor and jump into multiplayer to see where you rank on the online leaderboard. Although they haven't announced when the game comes out, I can't wait to get my hands on it. Death Horizon, another zombie shooter, is making its way from the Oculus Go to the Quest. Isn't much info about when or what is being changed to work with the Quest, but it's another zombie shooter. What could be bad about that? So there you have it, the ultimate list of upcoming Oculus Quest games. Did I miss any? What game do you think is the best game on this list? As we get closer to the release on some of these games, I'll continue to keep you updated. If you enjoy this lengthy video, please give it a thumbs up and a share. It really means a lot to me and it helps my channel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on everything Oculus Quest. We will see you next time and happy questing.